welcome back to my channel. This one is gonna be something different that I do normally. Um, I've never done this before in my channel, so please don't be confused. Um, I just wanted to film this because uh, I wanted to show you guys before and after and show you all the step-by-step -step process, like how I do all this stuff. I am a person who spends time in the kitchen, so I like the kitchen to be um, the main in the family because I like to cook and who doesn't want to have a nice kitchen? I thought it would be really cool to show you guys how I remodel, how I do things and where I buy all the stuff that I need for uh, remodeling the kitchen. So basically the first thing that I did for um, for my kitchen is I cleaned everything. I empty all the drawers. So me and my husband decided to kind of do the most part of the job for this kitchen because it's going to be a lot cheaper and what we're going to do is um, paint the cabinets, change the sink, uh, change the countertops and then do the backsplash. Um, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is degreasing, degreasing and cleaning the cabinets. And then second we are going to go ahead and do sanding. And the m most important part is paint. I bought this Rust-Oleum paint, uh, it says Rust-Oleum cabinet transformation. It's from, you can buy this from Home Depot or from Lowe's or from Walmart, but I think in Walmart these are more expensive, so I would suggest uh, buy these from Home Depot or uh, Lowe's. And plus if you're military you will get 10% off. The next I have is sending paper over here, um, I bought the size 220 grit um, you don't have to be too harsh for cabinets when you want to send them um, and the next thing is I bought the, a brush a really nice brush is very important and I have this one for my brushes and then I have these because I bought these from dollar store they're very cheap and um, you get I think six of them for a dollar and then I have my goggles um, I use these because I have allergies from dust and stuff like that so when I do my sending I have to use this one for sure. Um, the next one is we need lots and lots of Ziplocs. I like to put all my small stuff in my Ziploc because I don't want them to be lost. And then I have masking tape in here and then I have the big one just in case if I need them. So I'm not going to talk too much right now but let's get into the job. I am very excited. You can see all the spots over here, whatever you do on these cutter tops, um, they stain really bad and it's like plastic over here. Uh, that's why um, we're going to change the cutter tops to quartz and yeah, you can see some stains over here too. We don't like it and yeah, let's get started to cleaning the cabinets. Good morning guys, it's a second day and uh, we tried to get as much as uh, we could. So I'm just gonna continue working on the cabinets. We have such a mess over here. Um, you can see like we took all the cabinets and I did some of the cleaning yesterday and I will do more today and what we did is like we numbered, we numbered everything like one bottom and then we have on the top and we kind of numbered everything and we numbered all our um, cabinet doors and yeah it's such a mess over here. I'm just going to start on sanding.
Good morning everyone! Um, today I'm just gonna continue doing what I was doing yesterday. Yesterday we did um, so much work on these cabinets. We sanded all the inside cabinets and um, I can show you guys. Um, we finished sanding all the cabinets. You can see the inside because I am painting the inside in like a white color. So we had to sand these. Um, everything is um, ready to paint so I'm gonna try to finish it today the inside and outside and hopefully I'm gonna get it done today it's early morning right now and everything is ready to go it's such a mess over here I had to close that other room because all the dust was going to uh, the living room I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the work now it's time to tape all the cabinets and start painting. I feel like it's the fun part, like cleaning part was not fun at all. And now I'm ready to paint. I'm so excited actually. I am ready to paint. The paint I'm using is the base primer. Um, it's just a primer sealer. I got the cheapest one. Please do not pay attention to my appearance right now because I look horrible. Oops. So this is the roller I have up here. I'm just going to use this one because it's a lot easier when you use the rollers. I'm done with all the primers. Um, I'm gonna start with the paint. I just chose the Rust-Oleum um, Protective Enamel paint. It's just a white color. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing what I did inside the cabinet. So these are the shelvings and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So let's get started. And I'm gonna do only one coat, one coat of primer and one coat of um, protective enamel. First thing we did is we just got the board and we put some nails in here so like it's easy to paint like let's say when I want to paint the front when I want to paint the front I can go ahead and do the front and put it on top of these um, it's a lot easier to get all the sides when you're painting
welcome back and today for the second day I'm gonna go ahead and do my second coat and um, for now it's not looking that great I can show you everything what I have done so far like I like I did my first coat and you can still see all these like wood um, wood and brush lines I don't know if it's if you can see it let's see so if I do my second coat um, I think it's gonna look much nicer but inside I did white color for the outside as I showed you guys I used the rust oil and here here's the actual colors for the inside it's pretty much done um, I only used these two colors let me show you guys I did primer for the first coat and then for the second coat I did the protective enamel which is a really nice color I really like it it's pretty strong and it dries really nicely I really like that I've been loving this color for the cabinets I'm really happy um, it was really hard for me to get this inside so I just did the bottom I didn't do the top part because it's impossible to get all these things in here um, there's gonna be drawers anyway so I'm not gonna paint the whole thing over here I'm really happy with the result I really like the color I was thinking it's gonna be done much sooner or much faster but it's been taking so long and I've been so tired but hopefully at the end I'm just gonna enjoy it um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and start my second coat and tomorrow I'm gonna do the shelves and then the door cabinets So uh, I'm really excited about door cabinets because I can't wait to install them and see how they look actually
guys welcome back and today we're doing our backsplash over here and we're cutting them and making ready so we're gonna start from this side start to cut the powers um, always make sure your power is out and um, you don't get any shock or anything and you don't die and, uh, safety is first um, we did cut this one already and we're gonna do this first part and then after that we're just gonna do like half parts and kind of work our way <laughs> why are you making fun of me so here it is so I'm gonna just record the process and just keep doing and you guys can see what we're doing I don't know this is first time we're doing this tile so last time. I don't know if it's gonna <laughs> uh, it's fun it's our first time doing this tile, so uh, I don't know, however it happens, I guess. Uh, we're gonna try our best to do... <laughs> and yeah, so let's get started. look it looks pretty amazing I really like it um, I haven't used the grout so the one I'm gonna be using is this brand it's grout for quartz and this is the last step that you have to do after 24 hours guys I'm back and uh, I'm gonna do the grout right now and the tiles are dry we uh, I cleaned everything now it's clean um, you have to make sure it's clean and dry before doing your grout I'm gonna use this brand um, you can get it from any uh, Home Depot or low stores it's gonna apply these on the tiles and let it stay for 7 to 10 minutes and then um, make sure we clean it after like 10 minutes so I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes so I'm just gonna apply this this way
I'm back and we are done with the backsplash over here in the kitchen and they look so nice I like them so much so now we're gonna go ahead and do the caulk and oh, yeah. um, the yes <laughs> yesterday <laughs> we forgot to buy the gun for it like apparently we never done it before so apparently you need the gun to press the caulk and uh, where's the caulk it's over here so um, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks so this is how it looks like um, you have um, you have to buy the gun we were gonna do this yesterday and we had no time and it was late and we were so tired and so today we're gonna do this part this is the last part that you have to do and you have to make sure you tape your countertops you have to make sure everything is dry and nicely cleaned with a wet finger you want to make sure you go over it and kind of press it down and you get the excess of the caulk 